This week's challenge and ideas is all about water drops um, and how simple um, they can be and they don't have to be really difficult to get some really spectacular results. Um, I'm just going to do it in my kitchen sink. Um, doesn't matter what kit you've got, whether or not you've got a bridge camera. Um, I should have a go at doing some on a mobile phone as well and I should put them on there uh, and see how, how they've come out. But today we're going to just use normal uh, DSLR camera, but if you've got a bridge camera that'll work as well. Um, quickly run through some of the settings. Obviously the key things are, is we're going to need some speed to be able to catch them in, in mid-air. Uh, don't need to be incredibly fast, um, 200 seconds. Um, if your flash will go up to 250, 250 is the cutoff point where most flashes don't work. Um, you get a big black band. So if, if you can't get up to 250, go to 200, that worked fine. Obviously quality is one of the key things, but it's all to do with the amount of light you've got. So don't, don't be frightened to raise the ISO. I'm gonna start at 100, but even up to about 800, we're still gonna be fine because it's drops rather than anything else. So don't be frightened to push it up if it's still too dark. Um, you can use the flash on the camera uh, I'm using an off-camera flash today, which I'll run through it all in a second for you. Here we are, normal sink uh, with a mixer tap, which is, there is really quite handy. Uh, what I've done is I've just raised the bowl slightly, so rather than it being in, I've just put a couple of old cartons underneath. You could use an ice cream tart, or you could use... These are just a couple of old milk-type cartons I've just put underneath, just to raise them up. Um, I've put my flash behind, but you could have it in front, I, but I did find that the flash behind actually works a little bit better than in front, but uh, my settings on the camera uh, are 200 per second, um, f 5.6 and ISO 200. Um, obviously I have got some light coming in from this window. Uh, the easiest way with those settings, what I'm just going to first do is if you turn the tap on and you can see the grips going into the water, right? Before we do anything like that, I found an object, I know where the, the drips are going, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the tap and I'm going to just move this until it's level with where the drops are going in. Right, just on the edge and I can turn it off and then I can focus in on that spot exactly right so it's level so I've got the exact spot there focusing on that spot and then I can turn the auto focus off or if you're doing it manually just manually focusing on that spot and then turn it off then move your, your spit out of the way and you know when you turn that tap on so we we'll just do it very gently and get a few drips coming in. All right. I've got a remote jar, so I don't have to touch the camera. Um, obviously, you could use a timer if you haven't. Um, but the camera's on the tripod. Uh, so the camera. Out. Oh, there you go. Camera didn't flash. Oh, that's pretty. I mean, just something as simple as that, you get some really good results. The camera round. See the, see the back of that? I shall, I shall post them anyway on there. Um, the next thing is you could think about the background. If you haven't got anything particularly exciting behind it, what you could do is you could add something. Let's see if I can find something to add to it. Right, I've just found an old, but it's got broken box out of the recycling bin. Right, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to just put that behind there. And, oh, it's going to, have to be really tatty. If I can get it to balance. Uh, there you go, that'll do. Right, and now without changing the settings, I'm just going to take another picture. Oh, the camera's turned itself off. 
take another picture. And hopefully, oh, I'll just turn, do another one. You see the, the green background? I should perhaps move that just a touch that way. Oh, there you go. You see it in the back? And also what's happening is the water is reflecting the green into the water. So you could change whatever colour you want behind it, just to give it a bit of reflection. I think that works really well. Or you could try moving the flash around so it's bouncing off of the green. Let's try one like that. See how that looks. Yeah, you see, you don't know if you can see in the picture, the bottom's green and the whites, the top's white because it's obviously overexposed the back where the flash has hit it, but it's reflected into the water. I'm really quite happy with that one. Um, we should try some other e experiments with them. Right, the next thing what I'm going to do is with my flour and water, I'm going to add a little bit of food colouring to it. Um, and what you find is it actually, I've gone for orange and the, the flour and water mixture looks a bit horrible but it goes a bit thicker if you leave it for a few minutes before doing the next one. So, um, I hear you say I, I'm, gonna, I'm struggling to get, it, to get any pictures because they're too fast. So what I've done is I'm going to put the camera onto, auto, um, onto continuous firing so you press the trigger down and it takes one picture after the other um, you can use your remote trigger if you've got one if not I should do it manually by pressing the, but very carefully holding it down um, right, on that so uh, and also what I've done is I think rather than the flash was um, it's quite it's quite bright so rather than actually making it um, not so bright I've increased the F number so the field of depth is slightly deeper so it means I'm more likely to get everything sharp in that picture um, so I've got 200 per second F 7.1 and ISO 200 and what I'm going to do I'm gently just going to hold the trigger and I'm going to pour right. And we shall have a look at those pictures. So obviously we've got the um, same thing. What you could do, you could try moving the flash into a different spot. I should do that as well because I think that worked quite well with the reflection. Well, I've got it while well, making a mess in the kitchen sink. Uh, hey presto, we're done. So hopefully that's given you a few ideas. Um, to do some water droplets. You don't have to use the kitchen sink, you could use a, a glass outside uh, and do pour some water into it and catch it. Uh, obviously there's going to be a lot more light outside uh, than in the kitchen because it's dark. You could use a glass, um, you could use a wine glass and you could put some um, red food colourings, I think, and it'd make it look a bit like red wine splashing in. It's a bit of a waste of red wine just to use red wine. Um, you could try other things. You could use, <coughs> try a little bit of oil or something, because that's quite thick. Um, but the idea of using the mixer tap was it ran down 
and you'd almost get it exactly where you want it to. And if you're doing it in the kitchen sink, there's very little mess there. Um, and I play around with some different backgrounds. And every drop, when it comes out, it comes out completely different. You could try using some milk because it's a different consistency. Um, right, okay, I'd love to see what you come up with. And uh, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up.